In this video I want to talk about using uh, tab controls in a very basic way. You can find the tab control under toolbox here and it's one of the controls in the toolbox and just click on your form and you'll get it on there. And there's a couple reasons why I like to use tab controls. One, it helps me limit down the number of forms that I have to create in my application because I can treat each one of these pages in the tab as a, its own separate form. And two, it helps me guide the users through a process. So for example, if I have six tabs here, I can uh, guide the users through each tab and you'll see what I mean here in a second. On a tab control you can actually uh, change the style of this any way you want. If you right click on the control you can uh, first of all you'll see that you can actually insert pages so you can uh, insert as many pages as you want. You can actually delete pages too just by right clicking and hitting delete page. You can set the page order you can uh, it'll bring you to this dialog box where you can move pages up or down. Um, you can right click on uh, the 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 control and hit properties and you can um, change the, the the style of the uh, tabs you can actually change them to buttons so it looks like you're working with uh, toggle buttons instead of tabs you can change the background of the tab, the width, uh, make the tabs visible uh, you can actually double click on each of these pages and give each page a um, a a, uh, a name so I'll name that one page one you can actually set a picture on each page so I can say uh, for example this for this particular page I'll set the picture uh, as a little book here and you see a nice little picture on that page so as you can see that this tab control has uh, its own properties just like every other control in, uh, in access that you can play around with and change and I'm gonna go ahead and change the name here to uh, my tab okay and I will just remember that. Now you'll notice here that I've got six pages here uh, on the tab control, but Access doesn't read this as six pages. It actually reads the first page of your tab control as zero. So this would be zero, one, two, three, four, five pages. As you're reading it, you see six tabs here, but Access kind of counts this as five tabs. So let's go ahead and put some other controls on our tab control. Uh, what, what you want to do though is when you uh, place a control on this tab, you want to make sure that you have the page that you want the control to be on clicked. Uh, for example, uh, page one is where I want my first control to be, so I'm going to consciously click it. So I'm going to go to here, uh, toolbox, and I'll bring in a subform here, and I'll click on the subform, and I'll select um, sub one is fine, and I'll finish it off. And so now you can see the tab control automatically uh, expands out to uh, fit the subform, and I can uh, do some adjustments here. Okay, and I'll do that again for uh, page two. Put another subform on here, and again I click specifically on page two so I know exactly where I'm working with. Page three. Let's go ahead and put a label on here. So page four, I put a label, five and six, I did the same thing as page three. So let's look at it in form view. So in form view, you'll see that uh, page one has its own subform here. Uh, page two has uh, its, its subform. Page three has got a label, four, five, and six all label. So as you can see, this uh, tab control allows me to make the equivalent of six separate forms here that will uh, allow me to save some space on my uh, on my MDB and allows me to save some time in that I'm not creating separate forms I've just got one control with uh, six different tabs on here so now let me show you how to place a control on here that will be effective for all the tabs uh, for example I'll put a place a button I'm gonna place a button off of the tab control here directly on the form and I'll hit cancel and I'll call the button next and I'm gonna go ahead and instead of uh, uh, clicking on a tab on a specific page here I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the button right onto the control like this so when I hit form view you'll notice that every page has its own separate control but the next button shows up on every single page So that brings me to my next subject, which is um, how do you know which tab you're on or which page has just been clicked? Well, I've gone ahead and put a label here called My Label, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to test for that. Right click on the tab control and hit Properties, and we're going to do a, uh, an event on the On Change uh, event, and I'm going to go ahead and write an event procedure. And we're essentially going to do a select case uh, statement. We're going to basically say select case 
my tab value. So we're going to uh, test the value of my tab uh, tab control. Case equals zero. Remember when I said that um, the first page of the tab control is always zero. Page one has been selected. Then I'm going to keep going with uh, each tab or each scenario. So here we go. We're basically testing for the uh, value of the my tab control, and we're saying if the value is zero, which is basically page one, then we'll say uh, the change the label of uh, the caption of the label page one has been selected. If the value of my tab is one, then we're going to say page two has been selected, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to make sure we put the end select. Okay, so as we uh, click on each one of these pages, the on change event uh, fires and changes the caption of this label to show us what uh, page has been selected. And we can take this even further by adding a back button here and uh, changing the on click event of this back button to say that if uh, the value of the tab that we're on is zero, meaning if this is the first tab, then throw up a message box saying that this is the first tab. Else, change the tab value to my tab minus one. Okay, that means that if it's if the tab value is two, then we're going to change the tab value to one, meaning that it'll go back a tab. And I also have a uh, situation here where I've got the next button, and I've changed the on-click event of the next button to do the opposite, basically saying that if it's the last tab, throw up a message box saying that this is the last tab. Else, uh, change the tab value to value plus one meaning it'll go to the next tab and I'll show you how this works and if I click on next it'll go through the tabs here and then if it's the last tab it'll say this is the last tab and if I go back it'll throw a message when it's the first tab so it's an easy way for you to let your users kinda get guided through this tabbing process so again, I like tab controls because it allows me to create small little applications without too many forms, but it also provides me a way to have a multi-page effect where I can intuitively guide my users through a series of actions in, in a process.